I'm fine, really. Yeah. Fine. You call fine almost fainting at the prison. I didn't almost faint. I just I stumbled a little. Or something. People do that. You know, you could barely stand by the time I got there. Okay, you know what? The guy pissed me off. I was a little worked up. Yeah, worked up. Worked up is one thing, but you just had heart surgery. You know what? It's a pacemaker. They put it, it's fine. It's, it, it keeps my heart in rhythm. It's good. It must be so nice to live in your world. Sometimes. You know, you don't fool anyone when you do that. You mean like when you fool people into thinking that you're not terrified that Rafe is in prison? Hurry up, we should get you home and get you in bed. I don't want Emma to see me like this any more than she has to, okay? Oh, so you admit there's a problem. You know, Emma is a lot tougher than you think she is. So you shouldn't feel like you have to hide this from her. Okay, I'll make you a deal. I will tell Emma that her mommy has an electrical device in her heart when you tell Rafe that him being in prison is killing you. Oh, Jane took Emma downstairs for a sandwich. Good. So now you can rest up and stop worrying about your daughter finding out you're human. What's going on? Nothing. Liar. Um, don't lie. That's right, you Saint Mother Teresa. Could we just not talk at all? Please? Fine. Fine. No, really, what's the problem? You! You are my problem. I can't believe you went down to the prison without asking me. And the way you talked to... I'm sorry, the way you yelled at the warden... You just made everything so much worse than it was. I'm sorry. You're angry with me because I told that loser off? I mean, in case you haven't noticed, you're not making a lot of progress getting Rafe out of prison. No, I haven't been making a lot of progress. But at least I haven't been making more trouble for myself. Honey, you should be thanking me, okay? Because that warden could care less if Rafe gets his butt kicked. Don't you want it to stop? What kind of question is that? Of course I want it to stop. I want it to stop more than I want to breathe. You're not exactly doing anything. I'm doing plenty. What, praying? Praying that God will keep Rafe safe, that, that you're killing yourself trying to, to make so much money to get a good lawyer for him when we both know that it's not going to help. Maybe those things won't end up working, but at least I'm trying. So am I. Look at me. Look at me! I'm trying too. Don't you understand that sometimes you need to fight and sometimes you don't? been a waitress a long time. Do you know what happens to your food when you're a rude customer? Oh, Natalia, the warden is not Rafe's waiter. No, he's worse. He's a bully. Yes, he's a bully. So what do we do? We grovel, we beg, we appear pathetic and weak so that the guy can get away with murder? It's not your problem. Rafe is my child, not oh. yours. Yes, so you refuse my help and you just shovel yours down my throat. Is that it? Okay, what if we were talking about Emma here? What if this was her life? Would you want me making those kinds of decisions for her? I didn't think so. All right. Then I'm going to make you a deal. I'm going to allow you to go down to Emma's school. And I just want you to rail at her teacher. Just rail at her. Come on. We'll be even then, right? Uh, yeah. 4.30 it is then. Okay, yes. No, I, I won't be joining them. Uh, you'll be dealing with Miss Spencer directly. Okay, thank you. I didn't know you were angry enough at me to quit. I'm not angry with you. I'm, real, I'm not. I'm not angry. I just... I don't get you. I don't get how you don't see my situation here. My situation with Rafe. And... I do. I do see your situation, which is why I went down to the prison when I got Daisy's message. Let me try to explain this to you so that you'll understand. I am not you. I'm not rich and powerful and privileged. I don't have friends in high places. I barely have friends in low places. And while you may think it's fun to throw your weight around, you know, yelling at wardens and railing against the injustices of the prison system, I need them. All those people, the bureaucrats, I need them, because I can't do this unless I'm working from within the system. And if that means I have to beg and grovel in front of every warden and judge and juror and prison guard, all of them, I will, because I have to. And that's not pathetic, Olivia, and it's not weak. It's just realistic. And I'm not quitting working for you. Far from it. 
but I have a shift to company and I have to get there and I have all the confidence in the world that you can handle this Decker meeting on your own. You're appearing at the Renaissance Center uh, to promote Galaxy Hotels in the Midwest. Miss Spencer, is everything okay? Yes, these look, these look good. Wait a minute, um, isn't the governor going to be there today? I mean, why aren't I meeting with him? It was a last minute trip. Mm -hmm. We weren't sure if you'd have the time. The time to meet with someone as influential as Governor Young? You bet I have the time. Set it up. What's the matter? Are you sick? No, but I need you to come down here. I'm at work right now at company. Those will understand. Okay, I need you to come to Towers. If you want to keep your job, I suggest you get here soon. Would you excuse me, Governor? Olivia Spencer, it's such a pleasure to see you again. Oh, no, the pleasure's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to hear more about um, how the Galaxy Hotel expansion plans are going to kickstart the state economy. Oh, I would love to fill you in. And then after that, maybe you can tell me your plans for a cause near and dear to my heart. Prison reform. Oh. And that's really the key to all this. Remembering that prisoners are people just like us, and they have rights just like we do. And I have no doubt that once you hear the statistics, you're going to be so glad that you have a governor like this man right here. Somebody who has empathy and the capability to make huge change. Wouldn't you agree? I, I'm glad I could be your man. <laughs> Did you get that? Uh, you might have given me a heads up next time. Well, that's not a matter, governor. Thank you. What was all that? Well, that was me doing what I do best, getting your son out of prison. And trust me, once I made up my mind to do something, it doesn't just happen. It happens big. Now, will you get me out of here?